Hi, I'm Ivan from Viral Hair. We made Viral Light, the first super portable cable camera kit. In this video, I'll show you some tricks to reframe your 360 footage. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. You don't want to miss out on upcoming videos. Let's go! The 360 cameras and 360 video have become super popular over the last years. With a 360 camera, you simply point your camera in any direction, and later in post-production, choose how you reframe your footage. Pairing a 360 camera with your viral light will give you new possibilities to get dynamic shots. 360 cameras also have very good stabilization, so you can focus on getting that perfect cable cam shot. This is how you reframe your 360 footage. There are different ways to reframe your 360 camera footage. Most 360 cameras come with their own software. In this video, we focus on the Insta360 cameras as they have developed a plugin that enables you to open and edit 360 footage right in Premiere Pro. For this tutorial, you will need Insta360 Studio and the GoPro FX Reframe plugin. Link in the description to download. Both plugins are free. They require that you run the 2020 version of Premiere Pro. Open up Premiere Pro. Locate your 360 footage named ENSP. Drag the footage into your timeline. As you can see, the Insta360 plugin has already stitched your 360 footage for you. Sweet! Go to the Effects tab and search for GoPro Reframe. Then apply the effect to your video. A smart trick is to use the on-screen control to reframe your footage. Just toggle each parameter and check sync keyframes. Then click the GoPro FX and move through your footage and change camera angles. For every change in camera angle, Premiere will create a new keyframe. Sync keyframes will ensure that all parameters change in unison for smoother footage. The on-screen control works like this. Middle part changes pan and tilt. The size change rotation, top and bottom change the zoom, and corners change the lens curve. You can now use the on-screen control with keyframes to frame the footage the way you want it. In this case, I'm looking for a dynamic sweeping shot revealing the parkour trick. Quick tip, always remember to select all your keyframes and use continuous bezier for smoother transitions between each keyframe. Also, remember to reframe your footage first and then apply any speed ramps to make your footage even more dynamic. Now, check out that clip. So that's how you reframe your viral light footage with Insta360. If you like this, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. More tutorials coming up. And remember, go out, film what you love and have fun. See ya.